Let's use NextMove to build and run a decision model and get it into production in just a few minutes. Once you've logged into your NextMove account, click on Routing. This page walks through the steps to get you set up. We'll first install and configure the NextMove CLI. We'll copy and paste the code here, We'll go back and copy the code to configure the CLI installation with our next move account. Paste that here. Perfect. So now we'll go ahead and run the help command just so we can see everything that's available in the next move CLI. Next, we'll go back. We will copy and paste the code to install the next move SDK. And if you're running on Mac OS, you may be prompted to run this command in order for the SDK to function correctly. Okay, so now let's initialize a template. We'll copy the code here and paste it into Terminal. And we can see that we generated the routing template. We'll change our directory to routing. And listing it out, we can see here the files that were created. And let's go ahead and look at the main.go file. This file has the main function, input structure, options, and more to customize your model. We also have sample input.json that we can use to run the model immediately. So let's run this locally. We'll open up the instructions here, copy the code, head back into terminal and paste that here. And now that it's run, let's go ahead and look at the results. If we open the output, we can see the solution. We have version and options, the routes for each vehicle, and statistics. Now let's create an application that we can publish to NextMove Cloud. We'll use the NextMove CLI to create an application with an app ID, name, and description. Great. Now let's push that application to NextMove Cloud. You can see that that app is building. And publishing is now successful. And you can see here that we have instructions for running the app remotely. So let's do that by doing NextMove app run. And you can see we have our run ID returned. So let's look at the result using that run ID. Copy and paste that here. Wonderful, we see we have gotten our result returned from our remote run. So we'll go back into console under My Apps, and we can see our delivery app is there. And if we click into API Reference, we can see our unique decision endpoint here with example curl commands as well. So that's how you can access your decision app remotely. And we click into versions and we don't have any promoted versions yet. So let's hop back into terminal and let's promote our app. And you can see here that it's been successful and we can see again how to run our app remotely. Let's go back into console, click on our app again. Let's go back to versions. And here we can see our promoted version that we can now run in production.